Turkey Day is almost here. I'm getting excited. Let's talk about some movies, some of my favorite movies about Thanksgiving. So let's go. Gobbles! I think, you know, all these films are uh, charming and they're heartwarming in their own right. I'm not going to go in depth on all of them because they've been out for a while. So it's going to be a quick list of the ones I really recommend you check out. Some you've probably heard and seen a lot. Others maybe not so much. So let's get to it. All right, the first one and probably the most notable is Planes, Trains, and Automobiles. This is a classic. you got Steve Martin and the late, great John Candy. Steve Martin stranded. He's trying to get home. He really needs to get home for Thanksgiving. There's John Candy. He needs to get home too. And John Candy tries to help, but everything he does just keeps screwing everything up. And it's just such a classic film. There's so many quotable moments. I guess you could say it's a buddy film towards the end, but the chemist, the chemistry between Steve Martin and John Candy is incredible. The scene in the car and the scene in the hotel, you can just go on and on. Just absolutely, if you haven't seen it, it's an absolute must. And speaking of quotable lines, grumpy old men. This is a great one. Walter Matthau, John Lemon, they're trying, they're, they're fighting over the hand of a new woman that comes into town, Anne Margaret. Burgess Meredith, you should remember him from Rocky, he was the trainer, Mickey. He has these one-liners, he's this dirty old man that comes up with these one-liners throughout the film. I've been to Hawaii. Which island? I kind of like a pokey. You like a licky dicky. It's heartwarming, it's charming, just, just a great watch. First of two animated films is Charlie Brown's Thanksgiving. This is just phenomenal. I watch it every year. You know, it's Charlie Brown trying to get Pepper and Patty and Linus, the gang together for a holiday dinner. And of course, in Charlie Brown fashion, he's having all kinds of trouble. It's just, just such a classic. It's heartwarming, kind of bittersweet to me now as I age. And the peanut theme alone just makes you smile. Just, this is an absolute staple and, and a must for me during uh, Thanksgiving. Adam's Family Values. I, I like this one. This is where the daughter of Wednesday she goes off to camp and she's forced to be in a reenactment of the first Thanksgiving. <laughs> Christina Reach is really good in this. You can tell it just brings a smile to your face. It's one of those uh, feel good stories for the whole family. Definitely check that one out. This next film kind of flew under the radar and it's really good. It's called Pieces of April. It stars Katie Holmes. She's part of this dysfunctional family. She's trying to cook her first Thanksgiving dinner. And I tell you, it, it's, it's a drama, but it's quite heartwarming and funny. And side note, Patricia Clarkson got a, a supporting actor uh, Oscar nomination for this one. So this is definitely, definitely check out Pieces of April. Up next is Dutch. This is a kind of a classic 90s feel-good movie. It's a bit trains, planes, and automobile. It has Fred O'Neill. They're trying to get from Atlanta to Chicago. And to get on his girlfriend's good side, he agrees to get his girlfriend's son back for the holidays. This is a good one. If, if, if you happen to come across Dutch, check it out. The second of our animated films is Free Birds. This is pretty much a buddy movie. Uh, I liked it. Owen Wilson's voice, there's a lot of other voices in it, really good. Definitely worth, definitely worth a watch. It might be a guilty pleasure. Son-in-law, uh, this is Polly Shore. It's got a good cast. He's this wacky California guy and this more traditional uh, girl out of her element in college bring Polly Shore back as a fake fiance and they clash with the family and the traditional values. They warm up to him and, and yeah, it, it's, it's good. It's, it's more, a lot more charming and funny than you think. That's the list. You know, that's the kind of films I'm looking for between uh, now and Thanksgiving, actually now and Christmas. Those feel good, get the family together, kid friendly, you can watch, chuckle, laugh and smile. And I think these films will help you do that. So, and let me know what your favorite Thanksgiving films are in the comments. Thanks for stopping by Color Positive Movies. Perfect.